March 18th. And now the fight. The color man for this fight is Tony Perea. If he looks familiar, well, he should. This handsome fellow was a rated cruiserweight a few years back, and before that, he was a linebacker in the Canadian League. Well, Cobb is, it looks, looks like he's in shape. Looks like he's in better shape than he's been for some time. Can't say that for Leon. Leon seems to have a belly on him. But Cobb is, is throwing some leather. He's putting the nice punches together. Leon has been hit with a couple of those straight left hands. No damage done as yet. Cobb working behind the jab, something he's never done before, moving backwards. In his previous boxing life, Cobb acted as if it were an insult if you missed him. Now he seems to look to escape some punches. You know, Cobb does look like he's in the best shape I've seen him in, in the last two, three years. You know, he's down to 233, which is which is good for him. And he's throwing a good jab, and, he, and you know, and Spinks is moving pretty good. So, you know, they're starting off both pretty good. Yeah, Spinks is heavy. He weighs 118 pounds, and he's really, I'm, I'm sorry, 218 pounds. And he really, oh, there he is working with his jab, and he's scoring. Cobb is covering up. Yeah, they're both seem to be most effective with the jab. Cobb then hooked off the jab and followed with a right hand, but without much damage. Oh, Spinks hit him with a nice right hand, came back. You know, Cobb is hitting hard. You know, that jab looks good, and he's lining him up for that right hand. The right hand is not crisp. The jab is nice and sharp. Spinks throws his own snapping left jab. Keep it out there, baby. And Cobb ties him up. Slips oh, out. That, that was a good move by Cobb that time. Yeah, spun out of the corner. He'd be proud of that. He'll be looking at, at that mini Ooh. cold winter's night. Oh, he hits him again with a right hand. Good right and hand. Spinks comes back. Good action to this fight. Cobb's jab looks awful good. Yeah, snapping. Get that jab off there. Put it out there, Leo. Put that jab out there. Don't worry about him. Cobb putting punches together, and Spinks looking to fight in volleys. He comes back behind his own left jab. Close it in. Close it in. And then he gets pushed off, shoved back by, smartly by Cobb, who then hits him as he, as Sphinx comes back in with the left hand. Who did you have in that first round? You know, it, it was pretty close, but I'd have to give that, that round to, to Tex. I thought Tex threw the most effective punches. That jab scored a lot of points, and that, that right king was hitting very effective. Quit and, waiting on him. Tex, it seems to me, Tony, you give away your bias. Tex, could, could it be, possibly be that he's an old running buddy of yours, an old sparring mate? Yes, he was, and, and a very good one, I should say. Well. But they're both throwing good leather, and, and, and it's, it started out... The first round was smoking, and uh, and it's going to be a good fight. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. It's going to be a good fight. Get him in the body, young body. Jump on him. Okay, round two. Yeah. Referee Steve Murth is... Hasn't had much to do thus far. Kept his distance. Cop comes back and starts the round working on his left jab, and then Leon comes back. And he's throwing lever. Spinks is throwing a good jab also. Yes, he is. It looks to be the battle of the jab. Spinks has got a, looks like he has a trunk problem. His trunks look like they're, they're, uh, Sagging, they're at low mast right now. Oh, that was a nice right hand, a left right by Cobb. Cobb come back again with the right hand. He's missed it twice, but he's throwing it effectively. 
formfully, I should say. Now Cobb comes back with the hook, hook, hook to the body. Not thunderous punches. Ooh, he just got hit. What was that? A right hand by, right uppercut by Spinks. And then Cobb comes back with a half a dozen jabs. And Leon comes back with a nice stiff left jab that snaps Cobb's head back. An exchange of right hands. What do you see in this round thus far, Tony? Well, you know, both fighters are, are throwing that jab pretty effectively. Spinks is throwing his punches a little quicker, but Cobb's throwing them harder. And Cobb very smartly is pushing Leon back, and then as Leon regroups, he hits him with a jab. Very good uppercut. And throws uppercuts and hooks. Threw a couple of very nice right hands early, Cobb did. And then Spinks comes back and he's hit him with two nice jabs in a row. Cobb throws him back and Spinks comes back on, hits him with a left right. And Cobb ties him up, falls back on the ropes. Spinks looks like his left eye is, is a little chopped up at the corners that's ready. Oh, and he comes back with a nice right hand himself. On the ropes. Leon bobs and weaves underneath. Now he's got Cobb on the rope. Cobb pushes him back, and Leon comes back. <coughs> well, the fighting hearts of the two men are not in question. I think that's the problem, is that their, their heart is too strong and too big that they won't give up, they'll take too much punishment. What do you see? Do you think they're taking too much? I mean, is it something there should be some concern about? Well, you know, I don't think at this moment there's not much to be concerned about. They're both getting, you know, they're both in pretty good shape, it looks like, and, yeah. and they're not really hurting each other. But, uh, you know, I think towards the latter rounds is when we're going to find out if, it, if it's going to hurt them. You mean whether it, how wise this fight was? Leon's right eye looks very red. Now his corner is working on it. His trainer. <laughs> Jack Boyd is working on that eye. That's how serious it is. It's how serious it is. Cobb <sighs> Cobb looks like he's breathing heavily. Take a look at him, Tony. Put it back in. I see them monitoring him, the, the referee, Mr. Murphy. But you know, Cobb's breathing heavy at every fight, you know? So, you know, you can't really go by that. Well, it's interesting. Cobb had to say about whether he should be allowed to fight or not. This was a conversation we had earlier this afternoon. It's a very complex question. Number one, I don't feel as though anybody's got the right to tell me when or how I can make a living. Feeding my family is my business. It's like it's Leon Spinks' business. I have other opportunities in other fields. Um, I don't know that Leon's going to go out and become a rocket scientist so he can see with the fight game. I don't know that there are a whole lot of things uh, that somebody else can do or wants to do. Uh, I would like to believe that the individuals involved with uh, the fight game personally would come to terms with their own inadequacies in the field. But that's very difficult for a fighter to do. I have no faith at all in the government. I have no faith at all in the uh, people that are involved in the commissioners. I mean, these guys are political appointees. The, the majority of the individuals that are uh, trying to raise all the ruckus about whether or not I can fight or Leon Spinks can fight, they're not involved in compassion. That's not inside them. These guys are only exercising a way to uh, get the name in front of the public. And here they go. One thing that neither one of them are looking to back off. They want to fight. They both say they both say that, that the end is near for them. Leon too recognizes that his day of leaving the ring may be coming up, but it's something he doesn't want to do, he says. It's my profession, my game. And he, he also said he wished people would stop telling him what to do. Well, you know, I, I think it's because they care about him, you know, and they don't want to see him get hurt, no you know. No question about it. And what the commission's going to have to do is, is probably put a mandatory age so that these fighters with these hearts like these, will, you know, can stop fighting. Well, 
I tell you, it's more prevalent athletes being being unable to, to leave the, the scene is more prevalent in, in uh, football than it is in boxing. When you see it all the time. Jim Otto, the old double O, the center for the Los Angeles Raiders, is a man who stayed years too long and now he can barely walk. I mean, he is truly ambulatory and yet he's a young man. Joe Namath is another one with his knees. The, the numbers are endless. Guys who play football year after year and they should have been long retired. I remember uh, Gail Sears, the great running back for the Chicago Bears, had bad, bad knees. His knee was so bad that his wife had told me she didn't know how he could play because he couldn't get out of bed in the morning and required a cane to walk around the house. And yet, come Sunday, he'd be on the football field. Well, you know, unfortunately, athletes do listen to their heart more than they do their brain. But how do you tell a man that he can't make a living? I think that's really a, a fundamental issue that people disregard. Well, you know, I think the more you tell a man that, too, the more he just wants to prove the challenge and, and, and prove you wrong. Oh, oh, a good right hand by Cobb. Moved back. And he hurt oh, Spinks. Yes, he did. Spinks is on the rope, and he is wobbled by it. Cobb is lining him up. He's got him in place. He's holding him. Sorry. Steve Murphy, the referee, ought to break him. But Leon is firing back. And he fights back. And Cobb is in there. Cobb's got his mouth open. Cobb is breathing hard. There's no question about it. Ooh, another good right. Good, another God. good right hand. And he turned that one over. But Spinks good extension. Tell us what that means, Tony. Well, what happened is on that, when he shifts that weight over, it causes that right arm to shift over and have all the power come from his legs. But Leon seems to be measure up to it. He fires back. And at Cobb, if he wasn't hurt, moved back smartly under the barrage of blows by Leon Spinks. It's a good action fight, Tony. Very good action. This, this is turning out to be a real good fight, just like I thought it was. And these two guys, they're both doing very well. Hey. Hey, get out of the way. Let him get in the ring. Leon, give me five, six punches at a time. The third round. Bang, 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 bang. Give me five, six punches at a time. You're letting him be first. You throw one shot, two shot, one shot, two shot. Give me three Go four, find out. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Right? Who did you, I, I gave that to Cobb again, one not you, Tony? I did, I did, especially on that last exchange with that right hand when he wobbled the uh, Sphinx's legs. Yeah. He seems to be getting better extension on that right hand, turning it over, and they aren't, you know, he isn't roundhouse with the punches. Sharper, shorter. Big and tech. Okay, Tex comes out. Tex Cobb fires that left hand, and he's looking to get away. Very much like unlike Tex. But there, oh, there you go, baby. Yo, Leon is coming back. Yes, his he is. corner, his corner, Jack Boyd told him, he said, get off, be first. He said, take control of the fight. Don't let cop well, on punish you. Make him pay, put him on the defensive. And he's doing that. That's right, baby. You get Break it up through the middle on Leon, Leon's come, I'm looking about come that to fight. fight. He means business. There's no question about that. Cobb now takes over, and he peppers him with that left hand. Now he, he looks, Cobb looks tired. He's lacking the footwork, and he looks a little slack. His, his feet and, the, and his uh, legs twist on him. Another right hand, good right hand by Cobb. He's a little winded now, but. Oh, he had him with a good Spinks right hand again. Sphinx is bleeding from the mouth a little bit now. Yeah. What Cobb is doing is going to the body. That that uh, basketball and Sphinx's middle is inviting. Use it there. I mean, Cobb.
Bob has learned something. He, he recognizes that you no longer have to load up on every punch. Just stay busy in there. Land those punches. That's true, and he's also he's also using the ring a little bit. He's moving backwards, but not just back straight back. He's going to the side. Come on, Leon. Come on, Give me all the gas, Leon. Hit that body. Oh, now they're both getting tired. Now is the time that the referee and the officials have to be very careful. Because they're going to begin to take some punishment. See, now is the time when the man can get hurt when he's tired like this. Ooh, good right hand by Cobb. But Cobb is, those are sweeping punches. Cobb is wary. showing some of the signs of the punches. His left eye is marked too. So it means that Leon is scoring with some of his some of his right hands are, are getting in. But both of them are very weary. Both of them are breathing that is labored. They were both glad to hear the bell ring, I'm sure. Leon, Leon, look. Give me a good first of energy. Hit me with some nice right hands, Leon. I know you're tired, but he's tired of the you on now. You got it? Yeah. Give me bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Don't give me no one shot. They look sloppy this, this last round. Towards the end, they, they, they did start getting a little sloppy. They were starting to get tired, you know, and, that, and it showed. Again, who would you give that round to? Again, I'd have to go. I, th I thought Cobb threw the most effective punches on that, that round but a closer round than the previous. Sure. Yeah, it was a little closer, and Sphinx came back at the end. <laughs> Tex moving in behind his jab and doing well. Now he backs off. They both show damage to their right eyes. Look. Tex has a mouse underneath his. And Leon looks like he has an abrasion on the corner of his eye. And Tex threw a left uppercut to the midsection again. And Leon's trousers are in danger of slipping. They're coming unmasked now. They need to take time and pull up those trousers. And Leon comes back with his jab. That's two, three of them, Will. Snapping it out there nicely. Tex doesn't know what to do. Leon has taken the action away, the play away from Cobb. Now, now Cobb holds him on the rope. Leon comes off, throws a right, right hand over. Oh, and, and Cobb comes back with his own right hand, follows it with a left and a right, and another left, double left. He is doubled up on the hook to the body and to the head. Leon's pants are falling. That's it. Disadvantage. No, pull him up. Up, rolls underneath and throws that right hand. Leon scoring now with some good left hands, left and right. He's got Cobb on the ropes. Cobb wrestles his way off the ropes, and he's leading in, throwing some punches. He threw a, a good hook, threw a nice right hand again, but he's very weary. And, and that 
good form that he showed in the first couple of rounds has fallen apart. What do you think, Tony? You're, you're right. You know, he, he, they're both starting to get tired, and, and, and they're forgetting about the basics right now, and they're just trying to Swap throw as many punches as they can. And again, Cobb got his feet together. Two squared off. No balance, no power. And I think I'm going to give that to Leon Spinks, but close. It, it was close. I, I would have called it a draw on that one. But it was very close. <laughs> So what we have to say is that Leon is starting to come back in that round. He came back at the end. I thought Cobb took the first part and Spinks took the second. the fifth round begins. Referee Steve Burke holds him off, and Leon comes at Cobb. He's a one weary warrior. He landed a good left-right combination. Cobb is now putting punches together. Not hard punches, but keeping Leon busy anyway, keeping a glove in his face. He's got to look at his footwork. Look at Cobb's footwork. He looks pretty good when he throws that, gets his feet right. And he works behind the jab. Cobb should keep that jab going like he did in the first two rounds. Very effective. That's been the best punch for both fighters. Sure. Leon shows a good snapping left hand, and he follows with a, a nice chopping right hand. Oh, Cobb, was he hurt by that punch? I, I thought he stumbled, but I didn't know whether it was by a punch or he slipped. Yep. <laughs> Got his mouth open. Straight right hand by Cobb. Another one. And another one, and, and Leon comes back with a left right. Cobb has Leon in the corner, pinned against the corner. He's throwing some punches, but he's a little too weary to mount any kind of an attack. He threw a nice uppercut that time, left uppercut, followed up with a right hand, and another right hand. And Leon comes back. What about their coordination? Can you see any any signs? of disintegrating coordination. I mean, do you see signs of real damage, you know, brain damage or, or the effects of punches? You know, I can't see any any damage as far as like brain damage and their coordination, you know. What it looks like to me is that, you know, they're not in the best shape like they have been in the past, you know, and which would throw the coordination off. But as far as brain damage, I, I, I can't see that. I mean, that, that's a term that, that we're throwing around. Neither one of them, one of us really know what that means. I'm just saying, you were a coach, you were a linebacker coach in, in high school. You've been around sports all your life. What do you see? Do you see them stumbling? Do you see that they're unable to put their coordination together to really show some rhythm? What you know, is it? Well, you know, after you've been in the hit, hit in the head so many times like these fighters have, you know, it, it's, it's amazing as many times as Cobb been hit, how, how, you know, that man's amazing to me. You know, he's been hit with the hardest punchers in the world, and, and yet he, you know, he's still got a very active mind, and, and his coordination still seems good to me. What about Leon? Leon, 
on the other hand, seems like his, his legs aren't coordinated with his hands when he punches. You know, he's throwing his punches, but his, his legs don't, don't seem to be under his punch. You understand me? But to me, I, you know, and once again, I'm the amateur. As I look at it, you know, he looks to me to be reasonably well coordinated. Yeah. Well coordinated as a man who is at present paid prime attention to conditioning would be. Well, you know, obviously, you know, they're not in their best condition, you know, and, and, and it's hard to tell like that. Oh, that was a nice left right by Cobb, but Leon seems to be unfazed by it. He's never been buckled by Cobb's punches yet. Leon responded with a good punch of his own. Well, he does. He flurries back and he hit Cobb with a nice left hand. And Cobb came back with a right hand. And there he comes again with a right hook. Cobb comes in. As Cobb comes in and, and throws that sweeping right hand, Leon counters with his own right. He drops, uh, Cobb seems to drop that left hand down by his shoe tops, and Leon counters right over it. The body, Leon, don't forget about the body. And, and there, the body. there Leon did, again, he countered with a nice straight right hand, but he's not throwing enough punches. And Cobb is, Cobb is scoring. They're sweeping punches. You could tell there when Spinks threw right. his, his, his hook and he stumbled. And he stumbled. His balance seems to be bad. But there he was good. He threw those punches well. Left, right. And, and it looked like he might have hurt Cobb. Well, at least Cobb is backing up, looking to avoid it. You know, more, both these fighters have been throwing a lot of punches, you know, and it, 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 it has been a good fight. A lot of Texas actor friends are here today, Ben Moran. Country and Western stars are here as well. Yelling at Texan encouragement. But the crowd was appreciative when Leon came into the ring. They recognize him as a great performer, and he's living up to it, as is Tex. Whatever they get paid for today, they deserve it. Double, triple. Absolutely. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> well, once again, we see Leon stumbling. But, but Texas isn't too certain on his pins right now. They're both very tired. But they're still throwing punches, and those are coming from their heart. It's exhausting. Cobb is exhausted. He just sort of flopped around the ring when he went back to his corner. score that one. That was a very difficult one. I, you know, I think maybe, I thought again, Spinks won the first part of the round, Cobb won the second part of the round. So, you know, it, it could have gone either way. 10-9, but close. But I'll tell you what, when they returned to their corners, Cobb looked far the worse for it. He looked exhausted. And Spinks looked like the fresher fighter. I don't think that Cobb's going to be able to make it through 10 rounds. Hello. They're both very tired fighters right now. Jump on in the eye. And I think, look at Sphinx looks like the fresher. He's 
did a little dance there. Up on his toes, he smells something. He smells that he's got a tired, tired man in front of him. More tired than he is. And Bob appears to be the more tired. Look, look at him, just sort of walking him around the ring. Now is the time that they must be very careful that they don't allow this thing to go too far, that the referee stops it before either one of them gets hurt. You could see Cobb, legs twisted like spaghetti, just sort of fumbling around the ring. He's exhausted. Very tired. You're absolutely right. They should keep a close eye on both fighters at this moment. But Leon looks the fresher the two. He can get up on his toes. And Cobb wisely is looking to wrestle him around the ring. Make him support the weight. And that's and that indeed is, is what Cobb's corner is yelling at him. Ron Withers is saying, walk him around the ring. Walk him around the ring. Lean on him. And that's what he has to do. is claiming that that was not a, a slip, that was a knockdown. I couldn't tell. What was it, Morty? What did you see? Well, I couldn't tell either. If it were a knockdown, it wasn't much of a punch, but it wouldn't take much of a punch to put Cobb down. He's exhausted. He's very tired. What game he is. He's still looking to throw punches. lost track of the rounds. What round is it, Tony? I think I lost track myself. <laughs> this is the kind of fight you don't pay attention to the round. You just... Well, this is the best reason for it not to happen, what we're seeing now. It's too much of the same thing. The two men who are incapable of fighting 10 rounds. They're just not in condition to do it. Look at Cobb. Come on, I mean, that was a, tells you what it's all about. I mean, look, again, Leon looks the pressure for it. And there is Leon Spinks, manager, Marvin Howe, complaining to referee Steve Burke. He's got to do something about pulling. He also was objecting to the fact that uh, the referee didn't count that, that slip as a knockdown. They're working on him, but Tex really is, looks, looks to be it. This is the ninth round. And Leon certainly looks the pressure to it. Now, Leon should force the action. Not let Tex rest. Make Cobb work, push him back. Pin him against the rope. And you can see it. Leon, Ooh. oh, and Leon got caught by a nice left right by Tex, who follows it up with some cuffing right hand. And he fires back. But you can see that Leon has the better legs underneath him, don't he? It sure does seem to. Right hand by Tex, and a left by Tex, and another left. And Leon counters with a right hand. And another right hand by Leon. Tex comes back with a left right, and Leon comes back with a right hand that snaps Cobb's head back. Okay, what, what would you tell? Leon, if, if Leon Spinks, if you were his manager. I would tell him to go ahead and keep the pressure on him and, and, and try to keep backing him up, you know, and, and throw as many punches as you can and don't let Cobb get off, you know. But Cobb is the strongest, seems like, right now. He's pushing, you know, Leon into the corner. Well, Leon is definitely the pressure fighter. 
and that isn't necessary for Leon to load up. Just throw, throw the punches, touch him. Come on, Will. Lather him with blows. Let's work those combinations. Do you think Cobb is getting his win back? Is he getting his second win? He looks better to me this round than he did in his last round. But you can see the legs are dead. Yep. They are, they are yeah. dead. And he has poor balance. He's stumbling. Leon is, is certainly the pressure for him. Cobb can barely hold his hands up. And hold up, hold himself up as well. But Cobb, he's stumbling and he obviously is exhausted but he still finds some way to summon up enough energy to throw punches. Leon comes back, and you can see Cobb's feet are twisted underneath him. He backhands him. He got warned by referee Steve Murph for backhanding. Well, it's not the first time he's done that. He's done it about a dozen other times during this fight. So why complain now, I <laughs> think? That's true. I want you to go. Can you give me your all, Leon? That's all right. Can you give me your all? Leon. Well, it's the tenth round. Jack Boyd is, is telling Sphinx it is the tenth. Give me three minutes. Push him back. Move him. Work in behind the punches. Full three minutes. Full three minutes. He's pleading. Full three minutes. fighting for three minutes. And Leon is sitting there alert. Tex. Tex is desperate. I don't know how he's hanging. He's hanging on by his his uh, toenails. I think. Well, you know, now's the time the Tex will reach deep in this inside and, and pull it, you know, he'll pull something out, you know. You know he's not going to go down. Well, how, how about Leon? Leon looks fresh, and, you know, I thought that last round was one of his best rounds. Right. Oh, Cobb hits Leon with a right hand, another right hand. But he can't, he can't keep Leon off. Leon's on the ropes. Cobb has won eight fights prior to this on his comeback trail. All in 1987. This is his first fight in 1988. And, and Cobb is throwing more punches this round. And Leon, well, Leon, I'm not sure. I think the best he can muster in this past year is a draw in Japan, if my memory is right. Yeah, he had a draw in, uh, in, in April of 28th of 87 in Nagoya, Japan, against Jeff Jordan. Since that time, he fought one, two, three, four times and lost, although a fight against Ladislao Majangos in San Antonio, Texas, is disputed. And the, cl and the claim by Leon's manager, Marvin Halb, is that Leon won the fight. Well, Texas hanging on. Here they go. It looks like Walsh may have found again, Matilda. Leon's eyes look clear. Oh, he said. He hit Tex with four good right hands, bing, bang, and moving him across the ring. But Tex... Tex comes back. He comes back to a right hand himself. 
through a left hand, and then just sort of flops around the ring. And they're yelling from his corner, hold on, hold on, hold on. And that's just what he ought to do. Hold on and waltz him around again. Spink springs at him and misses with a roundhouse left. And Tex doesn't want to let go. Boy, is he tired. He's exhausted, Tex Cobb. And Leon is just walking his way across the ring. Tex grabs him and hugs him for a moment for a spike. And, and the referee is having trouble. And there it is. Leon's corner is yelling. But Leon wasn't doing enough. Cobb, Cobb was holding on, and Leon would allow him to do so. Well, it was a very tough fight. Exhausting fight. Both fighters fought their heart out like I thought they yeah. would. You know, it's uh, it's too bad that somebody has to lose in a fight like this. Well, I have to tell you, though, Tony, I thought that uh, Leon Spinks was the fresher and better conditioned athlete. And Tex was exhausted from the fourth or fifth round off. I mean, it was a... It was a, a feat of determination for him to go 10 rounds. You know, I, th I thought he was flopping off his feet. He's Ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a majority a decision. Performer. Here is the decision from the judges. Judge Jerry Cook rules it 95-95, a draw. Judge Larry Sullivan rules it 97-95. And Judge Paul Bauman rules it 97-96 for your winner on majority decision, Randall Tex Cobb. Tex is exhausted. And they want a split decision. I thought he won the first part of the fight. I thought Leon won the second part of the fight. Right, you know, I, I thought Cobb did enough earlier in, in the fight to win this fight, you know. Hey, Tex. We saw the fight, and I have to tell you right off, it was a much better fight than I thought it would be. A good action fight. On that note, isn't it time to put it down? Isn't it time to say the Cowboy has ridden his last bronc? Well, that figures to be the last rodeo, in all honesty. I'm glad I got to go out like I did, as far as winning, certainly. I did some things that I haven't necessarily done before in my career. I did more boxing this time. I know I'm capable of fighting with him or anybody in the world if I have to. I still haven't changed my mind about it, though. I wish you hadn't have fought. And the way you were late in that fight, the sense of exhaustion that I saw proved to me that you shouldn't have fought. You know? Mort, I threw 850 punches in that fight. Now put that in perspective. You got middle weights like Leonard and Hagler, they fought for 12 rounds, and they hadn't thrown 800 punches yet. I'm saying yes, I was tired. I threw enormous punches. I gave it all that I had, and I never quit doing that. And if I was tired, that's because I get tired. But I don't quit fighting. What about fighters, athletes in general, that stay too long? I mean, football players who make too many tackles or, or take too many tackles and, and the concern for knees and joints and heads and ankles. Not only football and boxing, but hockey and, and baseball and basketball. What's the criteria? Well, how do you tell them it's enough? When is it time for them to stop? Only the individual can make that decision. A man's got a right to work. A man's got a right to do what he wants to do for as long as he thinks he can do it. He doesn't need anybody else's opinion on that matter. I'll tell you something else. I know that there's danger. I know there's danger inherent in any field of endeavor that involves physical contact. Certainly this one has got its problems. But so does baseball and hockey. And, and these guys have the right. By God, they have every right to do what they want to do. Now, wait a minute. The question is, do you feel the effects of 12 years of fighting? I mean, the effects of, of being punched at 
and being hit by some of the best punchers uh, oh, of the, in the game, certainly in, in the period that you were uh, prominent in. Well, in all honesty, I've taken some great punches from some really dynamite punchers. And uh, there are people that hit. Hey, uh, <laughs> listen, I'm not suffering from any massive loss of intelligence. Certainly good looks wasn't anything I had to lose when I started out. I don't feel as though I have any trouble walking down the street or carrying on a conversation. I don't feel as though I have any trouble making a living. I'm very blessed that I can make a living another way. I don't think boxing has hurt me in that regard. I don't feel as though that I've taken the abuse that a lot of guys have, and I understand that. I also understand that nobody fights forever. And this is it. Say goodbye, Tex. Last rodeo. Goodbye, Tex. <laughs> Take care, boss. <laughs>